Alright, uh, welcome to this short little tutorial video on how to set up my Manistone production scripts. Hopefully this will answer any of the questions you have or any of the problems you may be encountering. Gotten a couple questions on how to set up some of the stuff, so I just decided it'd probably be easier to just show you what they look like, where to insert your stuff, because people are having problems. So, once you go to the website, you'll see uh, Manistone production. I just updated it to 2.4, so it should be good to go. Don't have any other problems with it. Uh, make sure you have these user functions. Uh, if you don't have these, it's not going to work. I can't help you with that. Make sure you have them. Uh, and then just make sure you have all of the waypoints needed. Uh, just click the daily system 4.2 or 2.4, my bad, and it will download all of them for you. So once you have them all downloaded, I open them up in Notepad++. It's easier to for me to look at and whatnot. So 2.4 just uh, updates some of the files with crash variables so that it's easier to re recover from a crash rather than starting all the way over. Um, and it also includes some code, you know, snipping and all that. So I don't. So it's a little shorter and a little more condensed. Um, but at the top of each one, it tells you if you have to change anything if you're on, uh, if you have an English client. And let me go into that real quick. So. Like on the very f top of this thing, or on the top of the page, Rock5 has explained to me, and I forgot to even include it in there, but, or forgot to tell people, this is for English, not well, English, but US server. Each, uh, your servers are dependent from each other. They're, they're, you know, each server is a little different in the way it, it handles things. So, the items that I buy with my item IDs might be different from yours. So what I recommend is downloading uh, Rock5's tooltip ID add-on and double check and make sure you know the random fusion stone, the tier 5 belt, and the arcane transmuter charges are the same. If they're different, change them. Change them to whatever they are on your server because otherwise you'll be buying something totally random it you know it might not even download it or it might not even buy it all or you might buy you know w something weird you know a uh, repair hammer that you didn't want and you wanted arcane charges so make sure you have the right uh, IDs on there if you want to download it check this website it tells you how to do it all the download and everything um, so that being said, we'll go back to our thing here. So the first one is Alt AT. Uh, you don't need to change anything. You can leave that as is. You can do what you want. If you want to delete stuff, go ahead. Just saying. Uh, by Fusion. Uh, this one, you you do have to change a couple things here. Uh, first one is being the name table. The name table is a table for all of the names of every character that you're going to use daily with. So if you have 20 characters, across you know three accounts or whatever that are doing daily and making the stones put each of their names in here in quotes and separated by a comma it doesn't matter they don't have to be in any order it just it can just be any of them they can be you know four from account one two from account two another two from account one doesn't matter just put them in there so that it knows and then remember the last one you put in there so for this one it's lily so the last character that it's sending stuff to is Lily. You're going to scroll down here to where it says name table counter. And this is going to say when it gets to the last person, which is Lily, then it's going to send Lily. It's uh, for this one's by fusion. So this one's going to send its fusion stones to Lily and then it will be done. So make sure you put the last character's name in name table right here. Put it here and here. All right. And then we'll go over to buy belts and name table. Just copy it from buy fusions. Just copy it over so you don't mess anything up or retype anything weird. Uh, with that being said, this one also has, uh, you still have to do the last name right here. It says last name of it. So Lily and Lily. So there you go. And then we'll go to daily. All right, so daily for this one, make sure one, your your item number is correct for your server and then make sure that the secondary password for all of your accounts is the same so for instance this one is rom is cool 
that is its secondary password. Uh, and then here, this one's also a big one. You shouldn't have a problem with this since uh, if you're using this, you probably already know how to uh, set up the relog set character list functions. Uh, if you don't, put it in the forums, put it on the you know in the comments, and I'll make a video on how to set that up if you need help. But uh, here's a website right here. If you go to the first post, I think it's by Lisa. She has pictures on how to set this up if you have problems. It might be from Rock Five. It's one of those two, but they have a picture tutorial, um, so you can't really mess this up. And then I use uh, Bot G's or Bot J's, however you say his name or her name. Uh, function his their clean bag function to to delete the newbie pet and the atonement voucher. I kind of just edit it to do the atonement voucher because you don't need either of those two if you're doing um, if you're doing the daily. So that's all you got to change. You don't have to change anything else. The only other thing that I would recommend checking to make sure is th this one right here. Make sure, or maybe it's not that one. It is, I can't find it. Yeah, so it's this. Make sure this stuff is the, uh, the right number or right for oh yeah here it is by charges so you come up to the by charges just make sure this number is correct so that you know uh, make sure you're buying the correct item the, the for charges uh, so we'll just go to the next one for make fusion copy the same character list from daily don't change anything uh, and then here this is an important one in here you're gonna put the character you want all of your uh, mana stones going to so your main character whatever make sure that person's in there if you don't put anything in there it's not going to send it anywhere and you're just going to be sitting at a mailbox forever not doing anything so make sure you put the correct person in the correct spelling because if you put the wrong spelling in there for whatever reason it's going to start sending it to some other tune and some other guy is going to start getting you know tier 9 stones for free so make sure you put that in there uh, and then this one you don't have to edit anything uh, that's your pre-daily to get you up to level 2 to do the daily quest. So, I think that covers everything. I told you how to set it up, what you have to change, if you have to change anything. Um, so, if you have a problem, put it in the forums, put it in the comments. I'll check it and see what's up. If you have any requests or any like other questions about other things related, you know, put it in the forums. We'll talk about it. You know, we'll get some, someone will have an answer somewhere. I'm, I bet. But um, that's how you set up my Manistone production scripts. Uh, if you have any more problems, just put it in the forms. All right, bye.